Your mm -hmm. office launched an online platform this week, Your Excellency, called Caring Nation, and it's a place for Canadians to share your stories. I'm wondering what are you seeing in the stories you've received so far? We're seeing uh, every walk of life is, uh, is writing to us. Uh, uh, I think people are writing everywhere. We just wanted to have one place where they could do it and show their compassion, their solidarity, their resilience, their courage, their capabilities, their ingenuity. But first and foremost, they are thanking, thank thanking their fellow Canadians that are keeping our society going, uh, those courageous public health on the front line who are keeping us safe, really important. Well, it, it certainly is. So there are common themes, there are shared experiences in those stories, and as you read those and as you think on them and as you look elsewhere, how do you think overall Canadians are responding to this crisis? Well, like everyone, uh, we are seeing the, the enormous toll uh, that this pandemic has on us. Uh, there are people in, uh, financially preoccupied, uh, there are people sick, there are people who have lost their lives. It's, it's terrible, but at the same time, personally, I'm very proud, very proud of the uh, extraordinary resilience and uh, capability that the Canadians have shown and the solidarity amongst ourselves. And as we continue the confinement, we have to continue being on the lookout for one another. After a little while, the routine sets in and it becomes a lot harder. We have to continue and hold the line. You've acknowledged right there that there are difficult times. These are dark days, plenty of challenges to come. But where do you see hope right now, Your Excellency? Well, it's interesting. I've turned a lot to my uh, colleagues. Uh, I have a colleague that just uh, uh, launched to space last week and is on board the International Space Station. And, and we've been talking a lot because when you're on board a spaceship far away, for you, teleconferencing or telemedicine or confined space, isolation, is the normal. And uh, there are ways to cope, uh, for sure, to count on one another. You know, on board a spaceship, there's a crew, but right here, we're all part of this crew. We're all together in, into this fight against the virus, and only together we will prevail. So we have to treat it as such. We have to communicate with one another. We have to rely on each other, and we have to take care of ourselves. When you say, we will prevail, that was certainly the core, the crux of the video message you delivered to Canadians early on in this crisis. But as we've said, we're a month into this restrictive lockdown right now. And I wonder whether you might have another message and when in particular you might be able to speak directly to people like yourself. You're the mother of a teenage son. So parents of young Canadians who might be really struggling to stay the course and to follow the rules the longer this continues. How about a message for them? It is important that we focus on, on, uh, on the positive, even though there are so many worries and preoccupation out there. Uh, it's, it's fundamental. It's attitude, it's character, and we have it. We have that will and we can focus on that. Uh, when the going gets tough, when uh, the cohabitation becomes more difficult, uh, rely on things that you like. Uh, we often say in the astronaut world, don't focus on what you can't control, but focus on what you can. You can have meals together. You can change activity. You can decide on a hobby. You can also volunteer if you're healthy and uh, if, uh, if that's needed in your community. Uh, and you can definitely show your gratitude 